Since the death of my beloved drift truck, I've been plagued with a horrid fork in my path. Many routes I can travel, but uncertain which is best for me. Should I scrap the truck idea and move on completely? Should I dump more money into the truck, only to drift like an amateur? Between working two jobs and trying to fix the truck, it's probably going to be a little while till I see the track again. And then it hit me like a white cement wall on track day. The greatest idea I ever had. Yeah, there's ice down there. Yeah, there's a bunch of oh, yeah, a bunch yeah, of ice. A whole bunch of black ice down there. I don't yeah. know why they would do that. It's do you, super dangerous. Do you want to back the trailer up or drive the car forward? I would just just pull it forward. Pull that thing. Yep. There's a, there's a spot on the cable. I'm warning you now. I, I will Did not touch the already? cable. No, I'm not gonna. I, I got one of these in my truck. I don't touch. I was touch. going like this one time and I slipped oh, my hand up and no. it went all the way through the webbing. No, 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 no. Fucking worst thing I've ever felt in my life. I never touched the cable. You know what's going to be really funny? What's that? When the guy dumps the trash and a tire falls out of it. Can you see here? Oh, it's a luxury, like an LX or something? Yeah, because it's got the fucking... The stereo seats, and the heated seats, seats yeah. Um, oh, this yeah, is crazy. It should be, um... I, I gotta think about what I'm gonna say. Uh, hey guys, uh, it's me, James. I just got, my, got rid of my car, because I, I can't really have it anymore, because I bought a Jeep. Mm -hmm. the... Well, basically, this is the path I'm going. I have such good friends that, you know, they would just basically give this away to me for free. I don't know about free, but it's for free, I have. I am now the proud owner of a 350Z. It's in very nice shape, and yeah, no, it's it's perfect. It's everything that I need from it. It does run and drive. It's a solid car. It yeah. won't take that much work. Then no. it'll be it'll no. be stout. Yeah. What more can you ask for? And I don't I don't plan on getting rid of the truck. I just I don't want to be out of the game for so long. And this was too good of a deal to pass up. Um, James gave me a really good price and. You know, he's just such a kind friend. He could he could just sell it for, you know, for much more, but you know, he's he's donating it basically. So, you know, very cool of him and you know, shout out to, you know, the real homies out there. They know who they are. James James is a giver. Look at that we're guy. Giver. Give he's anything. a giver. More jobs, hand yeah. jobs, anything cars. you want. But um yeah, so basically we're going to drive this back to the shop and get it unloaded and I don't know, go from there. Sounds good. Perfect. All right, here we are. We made it to the shop and the new car made it to the shop as well there it is let's uh everyone give it a warm welcome home yeah that ain't gonna hold air oh we might have a taker be 50% easier to roll on. So under this, the wheels are, at, we actually found that out when I was at James's house. Under this, the wheels are actually in really good shape. It just has a plastic dip all over it. It's like latex, but the wheels were actually really good looking. I don't, I don't know why that gentleman plastic dipped his entire car. Cause the whole car, you can feel the whole car apart. Like the whole thing was plastic dipped. 
Yes. Oh, fuck, that flew off on the freeway then. Damn. Because it was there. Sorry, James, I know you told me this was an expensive part, but... There we go. Oh, there we go. Well, that was miscalculated. I say the Z made it into the shop oh just just that name oh don't say it don't think about it Nissan 350Z oh oh I'm trying to hold back throw up okay all right all right I think I'll be okay I didn't want to become one of these people but I had to I had to for the sake of my driving skill I had to be a Z guy I am not happy about this. But I got a killer deal and I'm excited to get some seat time. So basically what I plan on doing on this thing is probably just straightening out the front, getting it drivable, getting a good set of tires and taking it to the track as soon as I can. I don't have much planned for this. I, this isn't gonna be a main project. It's just gonna be a side project, but I do need to get the whole front end straight because it was smashed about right here. So I got a power steering pump to do, a radiator, radiator fans, you know, all that good stuff. Other than that, this is a running and driving car. Uh, the suspension looks relatively straight. It doesn't look terribly off, but it's running and driving. And not to mention the coolest part has to be the butterfly doors. The whole car was plasti dipped. It's awful, it's head to toe including the nice wheels. Plasti dip and it is just horrible, but if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care. And um, I care a little bit, you know, I'm a, I'm a style kind of guy, so I care, I care a little bit, but I'm not super worried about that. The main focus is just getting this thing running and driving. So I'm gonna tear down this front real quick because it's still a bit crashed up from when it did get crashed. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna tear up the front. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna get a laundry list going. I'm gonna get some parts bought and I wanna get in this seat and I wanna start driving. This is the drift truck right here. It's probably gonna be here for a while. Uh, just, just walking over here kind of makes me sick. It makes my stomach turn. But yeah, so that's, I gotta figure out what I'm doing with that. The whole frame is pretty kinked. It's kinked pretty bad, but it, I'm not gonna give up on it. And I, if anything, I'm, this is gonna be a comeback car. So I, that's gonna be my seat time car and I'm gonna make a fucking comeback. I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna build it slow, I'm gonna build it right, and then once I have some driving discipline in the Z, I'm gonna take this back out there and we're gonna get a comeback. I'm not giving up on the dream. You know, I've always wanted a truck, especially a badass drift truck, so I'm gonna have that one day. Just you guys wait. But in the meantime, let's tear down the Z and see what it needs to get driving again. I just put the battery in and I got rid of some of the plastic and broken bits and bobs out front because we're gonna try to f straighten out that frame rail. I've never done anything like this before, but I'm gonna try two different methods. I have a cable puller that I'm gonna try to pull it with, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna bring my truck over here and yank the son of a bitch. So yeah, I just, uh, I also threw my, I had some wheels that had some tires on it, so I went ahead and threw those on so we can get this thing moving around a little easier. But uh, yeah, so let's try and straighten this side out and this side. I'm just doing some a little bit components right here. Just did a new power steering pump, new pulley, gonna need a new alternator pulley. 
Obviously a new fan and a new radiator, which I already got. The fans, I got them from James. Thank you so much, James. So here's what's the deal with the frame. The frame is pretty messed up, but I got this side mostly straight just by heating it up and hammering it, so that's fine. This side is just a total loss, if you ask me. There is no straightening that out, so I'm just gonna cut it off and make my own frame going forward. I'm just gonna box it in and do something like that, so. But yeah, other than that, this thing doesn't need much, you know, maybe just a new windshield, some body panels, not much. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll get driving again, hopefully. One day, it's got a little bit of dookie. It's got a little bit of dookie right here, but, um, I was able to get some of the plastic dip off the wheels and those don't look half bad. Actually, they're they're really cool wheels. But uh, I would trade them in a heartbeat for some five spoke Nissan wheels. But um, yeah, just a little bit more work to do to get this running and I'm just gonna build a quick bash bar, headlight, radiator mount type deal because I'm not buying that whole Nissan one. I'd rather just make one real quick. Um, I have all the material. One, two, I know how to do it. Three, I need to hone my skills. So, yeah, I'm just gonna even these up to make it the factory frame location. Just put it right there. Four bolts, four bolts, and I'm gonna make a whole bash bar and whatnot. And um, yeah, we'll get that taken care of so we can get driving.